What's going on, Pixar fans? Dan Taylor from DanThePixarFan.com, and here we have from Just Play Toys, inspired by Pixar's latest film, Turning Red, this brand new Many Moods of Red Panda May animated feature plush. Now, I picked this up from Walmart not too long ago, but it's also available at Target as well, and retail price is $24.99. So obviously there are like a gazillion Turning Red and May Panda plushies out there right now, um, but this Many Moods version was the one that I was personally looking forward to the most since I actually really like feature plush in general, like when the plush has some movement, sounds, and or phrases. So I was naturally drawn to this one first, but there are a lot of other great versions out there, electronic or otherwise, from Just Play Toys, the Disney Store, and so on. Okay, so before we pop this panda out of the box, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the packaging. So we have renders of Panda May and her human self there on the left. It says Many Moods of Red Panda May, and then we have the film's logo. So yeah, the art inspired by what could be like May's drawings and stickers in her notebook, including the four-town mix CD Miriam gives May in the film. Um, it wraps around the entire box, very similar to the packaging of the blind box figures that I already reviewed. And on the back here are just some promotional images of the plush with a few call-outs to some of the toy's features and phrases. Here's the opposite side with more of that signature mint and pink color scheme. We got some music notes up there on the top. And that's really it for the box. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some scissors. There's just a few little plastic bands you need to snap to get this plush out, and I'll be right back. And here she is out of the packaging. The plush stands right at 12 inches tall, so a good medium size, not too big, not too small, and everything looks pretty good. We've got the nice big soft fluffy tail there that you'd expect, and yeah, so the plush is still in try me mode, so we'll start with that and then move to the on setting. Um, so in try me mode, this is what she says. So we got her awooga straight out of the film when she's, uh, <clears throat> I'll just say, love stricken by Devin, the Daisy Mark clerk. And then we hear some calming flutes and her I'm calm zen line from the film and original teaser. And now let's go ahead and switch to on mode for additional phrases. The battery pack is just Velcroed in the back here as you'd expect. There's also an off mode if you want to turn all the sounds off. Um, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and hear everything first by squeezing her belly. I know there's the awooga again. Awooga! <sighs> so I guess just three sounds there. But wait, there's more. Calm things down a little bit by squeezing her hand. I'm calm. Then. I'm a furry digging time bomb. Poor town's awesome. Okay, I think that's all of them. Yeah, so we're just getting repeats now. So it looks like there's three phrases plus the calming flutes. So four sounds total when pressing the hand. And here's just a closer look at her opening and closing mouth. It's a little hard to see here, but I think you can see her teeth there. Um, and there's a little bit of depth to the mouth as well. Her teeth are plastic. And, and speaking of that, I mean, I, I guess it goes without saying, but just in case, her nose area, um, eyes, and eyebrows are all plastic too. The rest of her body is totally soft, um, at least on the outside, but she's not very plushy or cuddly soft, if that makes sense. Like when you hold and squeeze her, you can feel all the harder internal parts and mechanisms that make up her electronics and animated features. So if you're specifically looking for a really plushy, soft red panda may to cuddle, you might want to look at some of the other options. Lastly, and I haven't seen anyone else mention this, but after she's sat around for a few minutes after play, she does actually say one more phrase as she kind of powers down to save battery life. And that's it everybody, pretty simple. Um, what you see here is what you get, so if you're feeling it from what I've shown here in this review, I'd say absolutely go for it. Well, what do you guys think? As always, I'm looking forward to reading all your comments below, and if you did enjoy today's review, I hope you'll consider giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more Pixar toy news, reviews, and toy hunts. Don't forget to ring that bell, and I will see you all in my next video.